Walker's has been sponsoring this program since 2005 consistently, so it's in its 13th year now. Um, we are really excited. Uh, there's been a few new developments this year. We've had um, the addition of the Foundation Club, which is for students in grades one to three, as well as we've got the Primary Club, the Secondary Club, Teens, Lighthouse, and our clubs on the BRAC as well, so at both Spot Bay and West End Primary Schools. My name is David Bridgman. I teach the Walkers uh, primary program and also the, uh, the Lighthouse children come in uh, on Thursday. I like to use at all times the current exhibition and the national collection at the gallery. So all of the work that the children do is, has some basis on the work in the galleries at the time. We're very lucky to be doing art because some people don't really get to be doing art that much. I, I try and teach them um, a love for the art. We, we often look at other artists, that, like quite well-known artists, something that they can access easily, um, and then teach them techniques that they can then explore further um, in their own time. So very often they'll say, oh, can we do this again? Can we, can we do this again next week? Well, some of them want to do that and others are ready for a different kind of challenge. So I always say, you know, if it's, if it's sparked that enthusiasm in you, then go away and have a, have a go. I, we rarely use materials that are, you know, difficult to get hold of or difficult to explore um, outside of this uh, environment. We very often have them bringing in work the following week that they've then gone away and had to go exploring further, which is a great big boost for, for all of them. I have learned a lot about different artists and what they're best at and what their style is. I've tried to incorporate some of those um, ideas or their view of their from their pieces into some of my pieces. I only took over the class at Easter, but they start um, in September. So they were doing lots of other projects, a lot of 2D projects and painting, working on a lot of other skills. So when we um, came back after Easter, we just took different elements of the work they'd already done so that we could um, just kickstart a 3D project. So it's something that they've never done before, but we um, wanted to play around with using different materials. We learned how to weave, how to do mosaics, and also how to, um, how to create um, something called a Me and Lucy project. This is a group of children who are ages 6 to 10. Um, they have come from all the different schools, so it's really wonderful that they get to meet each other, whether they're from public school or a private school. And uh, the best part of the Walkers program is the exhibition that is next door and it's upon the seas right now, currently. And so uh, we have done a project recently called Me and the Sea. And uh, I think they've really uh, benefited from going in to the gallery and actually seeing pieces of, of artwork from an exhibition. What we've realized is that the need for the program is not just only to teach children about art, but it also expands on the knowledge of their culture using the visual arts, and it develops confidence and critical thinking. So you'd be surprised how shy when they first came in, how they're now asking questions and they're able to think critically and give their opinion of different um, artists' works. I like to focus on the process of making art so that the children are not expected to make a, a single piece of artwork in the class. It's a process that takes several weeks so we would take something from the exhibition and develop that through drawing, painting, printmaking, uh, sculpting, clay work. We use all different mediums and expose the children to as many different mediums as possible. Uh, and then at the end of a an extended period of time, the students should have a, a body of work that explores what they're looking at in lots of different ways. It's a way of the students being exposed to the process of making art. A lot of the work they've been doing previously has been um, in two dimensions and they quite like this project because all of a sudden they get to make a lot more mess and play around with a lot more um, materials. I have absolutely loved this project that we've been working on. I loved that I got to use a lot of my hands. 
The name of the exhibition this year is called Synergy, which I think is a really appropriate title because it means two or more organizations coming together to produce something greater than the sum of their parts, which I think is a beautiful metaphor for what this program allows for. It's separate from school. It's not, not, it's not necessarily what they're doing at school, so it's giving them a different uh, outlook. And they're experiencing what's going on at the National Gallery and what's going on currently in the exhibitions. It's fantastic that all of those children can come together and, and it usually ends up, especially it seems in my class, quite raucous and, and full of laughter, which is absolutely what we all want to achieve really.